Hey guys, I am DM Zone. This is Gamers Oasis. I'm going to do Campaign Zero. Okay, guys, so Campaign Zero, that might confuse some people. I am doing a second campaign. I have the Haunted Beginning campaign, um, which is not on Zero. And then I have my AD&D campaign um, that I'm also doing that is actually on uh, technically Zero. I'm, I'm going to have the first the next campaign uh, diary uh, when we actually get there. On this one, we play in the second and the fourth uh, Saturday of every month. So it gives us some time to, you know, do other things. It's not a super intense, dense campaign because the campaign, frankly, is going to be fairly dense. Uh, it's one of the harder campaigns uh, to run, I feel, in all of uh, TSR's original work. And it is um, hard for the players to understand unless things are really put out there. Um, the, the campaign we're going to be running is Temple of Elemental Evil. I'm doing the T1 through T4, which means that I'm starting with the Village of Hamlet. They're going to complete the Village of Hamlet and then eventually find out about the Temple of Elemental Evil, which they'll be finding out about as they go, of course. <clears throat> then they'll go ahead and start working into that, and then that will take them where it goes. So, the interesting thing is, um, I've never played AD&D 1st Edition. I've started in AD&D 2nd Edition. So, it's familiar, but there's a lot of things that are different. And basically, everyone but two people at the table, of seven, uh, has not played uh, AD&D 1st Edition either. Most of them had not played AD&D. Uh, one of them was a brand new player, has never played D, D ever in his life. Um, uh, another one, well, then we have the other, I guess, three, four, whatever it'd be. Say so three um, that have uh, uh, played, but they've only played 5e. And then you got two grognards in the group, and I think that equals seven, if I'm doing my math right. And I didn't forget anyone. But anyways, so that's what we have going on. Uh, so far, the party looks like we have a um, dwarf uh, fighter thief, which is our only multi-class. Uh, we have an NPC fighter because the party is going to be, if not as it is now, and it didn't have a fighter when I made this character, but they have an NPC. Uh, and I'll get into a video on UG. Uh, at some point in time but he's a half orc fighter um he has a brother named fug and uh yeah I, I got the miniatures painted i'll show you what it all looks like it's super cool and i think that's worthy of talking about ug and fug um they've been around for quite a few years and uh but yeah anyways um then we have a guy who wants to become a bard uh he has the stats for it he has to just start raising this stuff up eventually he'll get there um, then we have a monk, we have a cleric, we have a ranger, and I'm missing one, assassin. So, assassins in AD&D says any neutral or any evil. Now, I don't necessarily state that, take that as neutral evil only, otherwise it would just say neutral evil only. Uh, so I t took it as it has to be neutral or evil to be able to do this. And if you're going to play neutral, which would make a lot of sense to me, then you need to have some sort of reason why you do what you do. Um, <clears throat> and you're not going to be paid necessarily to do assassinations of just anyone. You might get paid to do an assassination of like an evil villain, something you're going to do anyways. But that's different. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be kind of limiting, a little more restriction, but I think it's going to be fun in the end. Um, the monk is going to be fine with that, I think. The cleric is lawful neutral, so he should be fine with it. A lawful neutral assassin. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of a fun, a fun, crazy thing. They got into their first fight as like a test run. We did four rounds of combat. Um, the first round of combat took about 45 minutes, um, and the last one took about 15. So we're showing great improvement 
and how quickly we go through it. Um, we've had three people that haven't actually participated in the fighting yet. Um, but that's going to be next week. The two of them will be in, and the third one will actually be meeting us in the village of Hamlet. Um, so we'll be going with that. Um, as far as that goes, it's going to be pretty much as you can expect uh, from a, a game from me. I'm going to, this game doesn't have a lot of uh, NPCs named, so I will be doing my own family trees, my own theme of naming and that type of stuff. I'll still leave um, the basic uh, NPCs be the basic NPCs. Um, I probably won't change that. Most of the players, I don't think, have, know what this is about. Um, so it'd be kind of fun that way. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to change probably the religion to uh, the beautiful. I'll just refer to him as the beautiful for right now. And those of you who know who I'm talking about, I'm going to change his religion because that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, what I'm actually going to change it to, though, is to a... Um, uh, a fungal god and there will be a little bit more of a fungal infestation in a narrow group of trees uh, that he seems to frequent and there might be an extra villain over there that is probably just getting his feet started that uh, uh, is outside of the bandits that are in the area and the bandits tend to stay away from this grove of trees because they don't want to deal with all the fungal stuff in there and it's very scary and dark but anyways, that's all I'm going to say for now, uh, in case my players are watching, and then we'll go from there. And as I, this game rolls out, I will have more and more. I have uh, several books along the way that might become very useful. Um, this is not a AD and D first edition book, but I think the primordial evils in here and the fact there's uh, Myrmidons uh, could be useful in an AD and D one campaign. Pulling from other stuff I have, <clears throat> I have an old group of papers with snares, traps, all those fun stuff. I have a 3.5 D20 uh, when they made this OGL. Lots of good stuff to pull from in there. Going back to AD&D 2nd Edition, I have this one right here for some extra... Loot and whatnot by Skip Wilson Williams. And then going outside of the genre a little bit to something crazy. I have Fantastic Treasures 1 and 2. And as you can see here, it's designed for advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Does that design for advanced Dungeons and Dragons? So those are probably for AD and D second edition. Probably have to make a few modifications, but that's what we're looking at so far. I did check to see if any of them were going to be psionic. None of them did end up being psionic. I would have probably allowed it. I just wouldn't want it to be min max psionics. And the only reason I allow it is because I think it'd be a very interesting thing to build into into the game. Um, but we're gonna have some crazy enough stuff as it is. We have a monk, which is ridiculous. We have an assassin, which is ridiculous. Later levels. And then eventually we will have a bard. So, what else can you say? The, pri the priest of St. Cuthbert's got to come up with something really big to even be equal on the same battlefield. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this. I uh, look forward to uh, uh, making more videos on this. And it's going to be... Uh, a little bit before the second one comes out. Like I said, we're only doing two game sessions a month. And my thoughts are right now that even though this will be coming out um, on not the second uh, Wednesday of every month, but that this would come out the second Wednesday of each month. Um, so this will be in May because uh, this is actually going to be an April release. I just wanted to get it out. And, uh, and that has to do with the timing of my BX campaign. My BX campaign is wrapping up. We're going to have the trials next week. Uh, so look around for that. Um, and then that will be coming out in the, what will end up being the first week of April. Yes. And we'll go from there. Anyways, hope you guys like this. Keep rolling those dice. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.